Maybe we're 18. I love her. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Hi. How are you all doing? Let me share this video quickly. <clears throat> um, I was supposed to, you know, come on live early today. <clears throat> but, I was a little bit busy. So I couldn't uh, make it. I've been so busy and I'm a little bit done. So, so that is my reasons. <laughs> good afternoon, everyone, or good evening, depending where you, where you, where you're watching me from. <clears throat> good afternoon. I want to talk about Wumi Alaba. You know, I said, and I promise on this page that anytime she speaks or grants interview, I will definitely, I will definitely um, come out to talk about it. Fortunately, um, I'm trying my best. <laughs> request from here just follow all right quickly i want to make one quick announcement on this page if you are sending friend requests on this particular page i cannot accept friend requests you can only follow me if you want to see more of my content all right okay good afternoon everyone we are going to talk about Wumi Aloba, Aloba today and like I asked on my comment session that how come um, nobody is speaking about Wumi and everything is just calm immediately we, we um, heard what Wumi said yesterday at the Corona inquest, alright? We all heard what she said, and I want people to come out and analyze like the way everybody is coming out. People want me to talk, people want me to talk. This is the reason why, when people don't want to talk, um, some of which they don't want you to know their dark secrets, or they don't want you to know what is going on. I have mentioned it here, time we at number that. Wumi is keeping quiet because he's respecting Moba's father. But people want to hear, I mean, social media, society we live in today, I don't understand how you people do things. Now you want her to talk. She's, she's just playing. Uh, you people have not even heard anything yet. Wait, I don't know her. If you come to my inbox to tell me anything, I block you off. I go by what I see, evidence I see on social media. I don't do hearsay. No way. I don't. What I see on social media, what I mean, what she said is what I'm going to bring up today. The reason why I'm doing this is we have to be careful. I can remember when they said they came to Dubai to have a uh, one sec. I think I need to do something on this. Okay. They came up to say, I don't like the background. One sec, guys. They came up to, um, they came up to tell us that um, they, I mean, mobiles and everyone, they came to run DNA tests, which I know they are all lies. Because women cannot come in into this country. As of the time, they claim she was still pregnant. And when you're heavily pregnant, it takes only by the grace of God for the airline to accept you. They brought up that issue, and that is when I started suspecting. If they have not mentioned Dubai, maybe I will not even get involved in the first place. Maybe I will not say anything. I will just, if I know her personally, I will write to her and say, don't bring your issues on social media. 
because bloggers will talk about it. Mm. They mentioned Dubai, you know, and they said they came here to run, uh, they came here to run uh, a DNA test. I was like, okay, when? Because the baby, as of the time, was only five months, and she got the passports the same day, according to her. Mobile spy, the same day mobile spy, or two days after mobile spy, or one day after mobile spy, he got um, the baby passport. So when did they come to Dubai to have that test? I mean, may God forgive all of you, saying things that you don't know. What mobile father said is what we are using, is what I am talking about, what he said from his mouth. Not what people, they say, they say. I don't. If I don't see it, I just forget about it and say, these ones are all those... Uh, Cut and so cut and join bloggers. He was saying it with his face. We can see him. The only mistake he, I think he made was listening to social media. I think he doesn't understand how it works. And I hope he comes out to give us interview and come and debunk what Wumi claim of him or said about him. Teba Faguru, Guru Fagbu. When you go and look for trouble, you will get reply. Definitely. That is why I was saying from the beginning that it should never, it should hold on whatsoever. It should calm down and don't talk anything about their personal life on social media. I say, Father, you sit down and watch. I say, Father, you go into prayer. I say, Pastor, I say, Prophet. You know, sometimes things happen like this, and you don't understand where these things are coming from. You calm down and reason, you understand, with yourself. Don't reason with your wife, that one that is there. That I'm out. Look at the way we mean. Wash her one hand. Little girl of 24 years old, girl, a man of 55 years old, is coming out to the property. What? What does he have? This person we are talking about, many people don't even know him. Many of his music, you know, started because he cry and the way things, you know, things were flying on social media, the video of where they were bullying him. We don't even know the outcome of that bully. What happened? What transpired? He is no more to tell us. And a lot of people are just talking, you know, saying this. People don't know him. He's not a superstar like He's a very superstar that everybody knows internationally. I don't know him. He is just picking up. He's just picking up. Mobad is just picking up. It's just they pick up. They find balance. How can he have acres? Three, uh, millions of uh, properties. This and that. Don't say what you don't know. If he has money, he won't give his father 30,000 naira. If he's a rich man, a rich boy, as people portray him, he will not. The truth is bitter, but we have to say it. Because the father was the one that called us. I'm sleeping, and they called us to come and talk about it. And whatever we see on social media, everybody has right to talk about it. If you bring it on social media. Regardless the country you recite it. If you talk, if you bring it, they will talk about it. But if you keep it and nobody knows it, nobody will talk about you. So we say, you know, they will speculate lies and things like this. But, you know the truth. I know for sure, because I know that Wumi is not talking. I was thinking in my mind. I was, you know, I was thinking, I was trying to figure out why, what is the reason. At the time, I got upset to say, I got upset at the time. Then I remembered that she has a lawyer. When you have a lawyer, you cannot do what you want to do. You must listen to your lawyer. You must listen to your lawyer instruction. Your lawyers will tell you what to say and what not to say. All you need to do is to say what you can and leave the rest for them. That is their job and that is why they are barristers. But no, people want her to talk. It is not done that way. If you have a lawyer, there are things that you cannot say on social media. You allow your lawyer to use that to defend you, especially when you have evidence. And I love one of my sister, you know, we grew up in the same community. She was writing on that day on my page here. 
You know, I just gave her one straight answer and I left her. Because she wanted, people want to, who is people? Who is people want to hear? Do I, they, they don't know me when I was crying, when I needed help. And the same people want me to come and speak. Who is the people? That is what Wumi just told you guys. Who? That is what she showed you guys. Who? Who should I come and explain to? People like me or people like who? I don't have explanation. I only have explanation to make or to give to the government or to the courts. But Moba's father, I think he, he didn't understand all of these things. Growing up, we must understand as a parent what to say outside and what not to say. And whatever Moba's father has said, okay, remain on social media forever. Some people, as I told you, they have flash drive, they have big, I mean, um, hard drive that they use to save all videos, including mine. Tomorrow, if I mess up, they will bring my video. And since you know the same woman that used to wear that white cap, that used to sell hair, that whenever she's on social media, you will see her hair, like she has millions of, of hair. We don't even know if she's selling it or she's recycling it. People will talk about it. So, Wumi has spoken. And I believe everybody have heard her. Even though that is just a tip of an ice block. That is how I see it. I told you guys that it looks like Wumi has evidence. Where are those bloggers? Ah, Wumi, I even saw one video. A guy, an Igbo guy. The guy was saying, Wumi has traveled to Canada. He ran away. He did this. He did that. He's no more in the country. The next day was Corona Inquest, the first one that Wumi appeared in. I tagged him so that he can see. Very dark man. Ah, very dark man is correct. Oh. You don't live with these people. You don't live in my house. You cannot talk about me. If you visit me, that doesn't mean that you know what is going on in my house. Wumi lives and owns that house that they are living in, even though it's rented house. He lives with he lives with with her husband. The rest of you know the brothers, they may not even know what Wumi knows about Mobat. Because, of course, they will not be sharing everything. Only few Moba's friends that are very close to him understand and know the truth. But some people just want to chase clout out of this issue. That they should have, you know, continued to advise Moba's father to keep calm. To stay still. To, you know, relax. Let's see where the government is taking everything to. But no. People want to hear story. Jobless people like me. Like all of them, wants people to come out, wants the poor man to come out and talk and rant and give them information so they can post it on YouTube. And that little boy will grow up and see all of these things on social media. The little boy will see the video of his grandma covering his face so that people don't see his face. He people don't know what is going on. And most of these people that are doing these things, majority of them are, are yet to marry. Majority of them are not even married, including very dark man. He's not married. He doesn't understand how it works. If you live with a man and the man impregnated you or you, you got pregnant for the man, it's different from marriage to have that ring and say, yes, I do forever. Who me? Of course, from the, what we see, what we've seen so far, she's yet to release. I cannot say if she's legally married, but traditionally she's married. Everybody is judging Wumi. Wumi, you waited 24 years. You will see 60 years old woman instead of them to put peace. To say, you know, uh, let's, we are this, we are that. Let's, let's try and talk to Moba's father. Let's see how we can, you know, re reunite them again. How things can work out for good for them. No one is talking about that. Moba's father has spoken. Moba's father said, uh, do you want to believe everything the man is saying? So Wumi have seen all everything uh, and say, you know what? I think I need to just release a little bit and tell the man that I have evidence so that he will understand and know that I know all of these things. They were once best friend. They were once close. What happened? How did we how did they get here? Answer for yourself. For the fact that mobiles don't want you and again there is something I want to say. Wumi is married to Mobad. 
doing their wedding. Moba's father want to bring DJ. I don't understand. And you see women that cannot relate half of what that little girl has taken from Moba's father. You will see them coming out on social media. Ah, oh, oh, oh. I say, what is going on? This person, we know you on social media now. Are you not that woman that, you, that took somebody's name to where you wanted to buy all of them? And you are coming out to speak. People like you are not supposed to come out on social media to talk at all. Ah, well, me, they said, oh, she came out to give false information yesterday. Before the real story came on all blogs. All bloggers like Linda EKG. She was saying things. They asked Umi, what is the connection between you and Sam Larry? So Umi could not say anything. Umi could, come on, lady. And she has a lot of people watching her. Some are even correcting her to say, we disagree with you. Because we are women. We know how it is. We are married. We are in the marriage. You are not in the marriage. You are a single mother. And there is nothing wrong if someone is a single mother. Though. We see how you do things, how you, you know, carry yourself on social media. You don't take things easy. How we support Papa Mama, How we do this. Even this afternoon, that lady said on her video, uh -huh, if Papa Mama bring woman to a woman's house, and so what? I said, what? I can't play her video here because I don't see her like someone that has um, correct 100% um, brain working. I would have played her voice so that she can come here and comment. But there is no point. How can you, a father-in-law, continue to bring a uh, continue to bring your girlfriend, a man that claimed to be a pastor? These are the things that Mobad have noticed from his father. That refuse that Mobad refused to allow his father in any way because if they even give him time, maybe he, he will start sleeping with Mumi, the wife. You have no shame. No respect. Taking girlfriends to your daughter-in-law's house to have whatever with them. A 27 years old son of yours. You are taking your child, your, your girlfriend to the house. To have what? As a man of God. After different wives. Nobody's talking about it. There is no blogger anywhere. They are trying to come up with another story. Where is very dark man? I need to tag him. Nobody is talking about what Wumi said in the court yesterday. Is it that people are not hearing her voice? This is why I said there is no need for her to talk. A lot of people are under G walking. That didn't stop there. She points at the lady that claimed to be Moba's father's family. Was the one, you know, having relationship. With Moba's father, right in the club, in the court. And I know that the stepwife will be surprised and shocked to say, and she is claiming, so she is the one, you know, telling all the bloggers this, that, that, that. This is not nice. Nobody is hearing with me yet. Everybody is calm. That is why I will never, I will never be part of those that share bad news about people. No. She said, these are the things that Mobad, Mobad saw with his eyes before his dismiss. How can you, as a father-in-law, bring your girlfriend to your little child? Mobad is not your first son. You bring in the girlfriend to his house. Wumi is only 24. As of the time, Wumi is 23. Or probably even 22. What does that mean? Does that show respect? I would not even respect my father-in-law if he tries such. Bringing a girlfriend, not his wife, to my matrimonial home. That is what they call adultery in the Bible. It's a very big adultery that Moba's father committed right there. And that is why I asked questions from the beginning that, is he, is he, he, he himself, Baba Mobad, is he legally married? That question nobody is asking. He still goes out with young girls. That is not enough. According to the, what I read, what she said, she said, and I quote, that after, they gave, after she gave birth to um, Lyme, 
Is it light? I'll call that boy light. I don't want to. I don't know how to pronounce that name. Lime. No. Light. The father was requesting for placenta. Me. I have my child nine good months. I carried my, my child. Nine. And you see some women are still supporting that one. That they cannot take. Something that they cannot even when you tell them like this, you are I mean they will they will want to, you know, face you. <laughs> You see some women saying, eh, 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 in the olden days, in the olden days, they cannot take water. She was pregnant. And you are requesting the placenta of the child, of your grandchild. Who are you? Papa Moba, you should be happy that you are married to a very quiet lady. A very quiet lady that, uh, that cannot, you come and tell me that you want placenta. You can't even do it in the Western world. You cannot come and start asking for your um, daughter-in-law, um, I mean your, 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 what is it called now? Your grandchild placenta in the Western world. In this country, you will, you're not allowed to come in when your wife is in the delivery room until everything is done. There are places that you cannot even go to. In this country, where I live, a woman, a man cannot be inside a room with a woman for this UAE and you are asking them to give you the placenta of a child that is not your grandfather to do what with it nobody is talking about it everybody is calm some people cannot take quarter of what will me I cannot I will not lie I will not come on social media and come and start for me holy sense I'm not holy I'll not go take him you cannot once I am traditionally married to him I will move to we'll move to white wedding straight up and then after that there will be a stop to many things even from the beginning when I'm while I'm dating the guy I will not accept you to bring a woman in my house in my home she is traditionally married you cannot you should never do you should never and you want the placenta of that child how many women can take that in the name of marriage, how many how many of you on social media join and um, fake bloggers can accept that offer from Moba's father? What does he want to do with the placenta? The son told him openly, according to Wumi, that he will not release that placenta for his dad. He stood his ground and said that he will not release the placenta of the guy. People are not channeling their energy where they're supposed to channel their energy. Now, we may have spoken, and she has more to say. This is just a tip of an ice block. You people want him to speak. You people want her to talk. Come and speak. Come and talk. Come and do this. You know about this. You know about this. You know about that. She knows nothing. Since you people want to hear. You cannot come and start saying things about people, and you expect them to keep calm and not say a word back. She is only 24 years old. If she's my sister, I will tell her not to speak. She is too young to come on social media and start facing Baba Mubad in the first place. But you people pushed her until she say, Lord, say, you know, say all of these things. Why? These are the things that nobody should even... Look at me, I'm covering my ear because I can't even believe it. I'm still thinking if this is what she's going to say on a live video. Ha! Huh. He brought a woman to my house and the son said he doesn't want him to be doing that. The other day, the wife, you know, the original wife or the stepwife, I don't even know. Papa Mubar, I don't even know. Came to the house and the lady saw him having, you know, this with the other lady. Blah, 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 blah. There is video. She has that, that lady, 24 years old girl. He brain fool. She gallants with video evidence. Maybe she will be one corner video in there. In case of things like this. So that people, she will have evidence to show them. For her to say that word, I'm very sure she have evidence. What happened that day? How the second last wife met the girlfriend in their house? You people don't think. When people don't want to talk, allow them. There is no point for them to come and start speaking. Because they will, 24 years old, she will say everything. 
all of you will be shocked and you know go and get a place to and get a life. A woman on a social media was open, she said today about one hour ago, uh -huh, if you bring woman to the, this woman on social media cannot take half of what women embraced from the father-in-law. I that I'm sitting down here, I no go take him. I no go take him. Even though they say they never marry myself. No marriage, no anything. What's in the marriage? Go and sleep. You want to come and take my 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 son, placenta. As who? There are things that people don't understand. She has more to say. Don't allow her to say anything. It's okay. Let's continue on. Let's focus on justice for Mubad. No! Women must talk come and say, women yeah. crazy people that they cannot bring their they cannot bring their family issue on social media. They, are, they, are, they want the little girl to bring her family issue on social media. Like Wumi mother, Wumi father said, wrong information, fake people, single, useless mothers, Ndala, that they cannot even identify who pregnant them. They want Wumi to go and do DNA. They will come on social media and say things. People that are frustrated in the United Kingdom, Ndala, refugees, they about my refugee asylum seekers they will come on social media and say things people that their husband ran away from their ex-boyfriend husband ran away from them because of their character their attitude he's telling 24 years old girl a 45 years old woman 55 years old man is telling women 24 to come and explain herself Mumi father came out. I hope he's going to come out to come and give us interview more. Baba, come and give us more interview. Let's the bloggers that is making money from you. They are making millions from Facebook. Let them use it to make money. Something that you could have settled within. After marriage, you were calling people first. Who be Mubad? Not everyone knows him. It was what happened that made people to know him. I take the millionaire. Oh, you won't buy all the whole acres of land. You won't buy this one. He has this. He has this one. That is what your, you as a father is chasing. You're not even thinking that you've lost someone. Very important. Even though he's not a musician. Even though he's not an artist. He didn't feel it. Everybody was feeling it. Feeling the pain. You, as a papa, you are there granting interview. You gave me 30,000. Oh, for me, le. Oh, that chair. We may even say the old chair. The old chair that was in their house. The father came to take everything. He takes everything, including clothes and cap that belongs to Mobad. Ofuminile. Ofuminile. It's not like it's not like he's a top artist that people know. Like, God forbid, Rema or Davido. Or you know, people know. He's just come, he's an upcoming artist that has very beautiful music and nice voice. People love him at the end of everything. But you people are behaving as if he has all the whole property. For Nigeria, where I go, I just they come back August. Waiting is hard. Now you want to buy the whole acres waiting for Aja? Come on. That is not even the bone of contention. How can everything be resolved? Everything, including Naramali, everything. So that the boy can just go and rest. No, they want me to talk. Ah, what's okay? What's okay? What's okay? So one person, one blogger said, Wumi don't travel at. He ran away. He took the child. The next day, Wumi was in the court with the son. Let's be very, very careful with the way we talk about people. Where is very dark man? Is he not talking anymore? Let him come and analyze it for us. How can you? Most of you women here cannot take it. My father-in-law will bring woman to my house. Even though the second wife says, you know they bring come my house. Second wife, I know see if I say I break their leg. Some of you are, are thugs that cannot even tolerate even insult from your father-in-law. Yes, very dark man is saying the truth. Mad people. When I go check on her brain, all of now. Now she's speaking. You people want her to talk. Look at what she's saying. And the kind of person supposed to hear be this one. 
See papa in law carry girlfriend come has and he put one for us. And this man say he don't marry like three times, four times, I mean five times, even come on. The one way they ask now, maybe na number number 17. He still get girlfriend. From me, from Papa Mobad mouth, interview. Is this your first wife? No. Is this your second wife? No. Hey, why are they, why are they leaving now? The first one left, the second one left. Papa Mobad don't have anything to say. Papa Mobad said, eh, hey, they left because uh, the way I'm treating Mobad, you know, I was treating Mobad very carefully, very lovely, very clinical. Put Mobad certificate to finish the school where the Papa sent that. Come on, we all have parents that are poor. I came from, I came from a very poor home. Me. If your papa pay for school fees, if you know if you pay the rest one, and you go go find you will hustle and see how you can get yourself going. Otherwise, you will drop out from the university. It is not easy. Hey, I agree. I accept. They will be typing. Typewriter warriors. It's because we miss sister too. That one needs rearrangement of brain. You stand by your sister. Everyone make mistake in life. Nobody is perfect. Go and study woman management and stop wasting your time on social media to understand how it works and how you can accept them. Am I judging Papa Mobaz? The answer is no. Because he allowed the social media, the society, to influence him to say things that he's not supposed to say. Very soon, we we, we, we have a channel and start granting interview and start saying more and splitting more. Until Baba Mubaz drag, they will then start going to court. Come on, people. Let's not. Let's. If you have the voice and you have followers, please let's make this thing, you know, go. Like, this is not good for a family. They are families, whether you like it or not. Now, Umi is ready to speak. They are going to, they are going back on the 15th. Some people are saying, okay, let them go back on the. What is Papa Mubaz going to say? May we not lose our loved ones. May we not lose our children. Come on. This is not funny. And it has never been funny to me. From day one, I saw that interview from whatever page. I was thinking in my head, what is going on? I've lost someone before. I know what it is. Up to now, it looks like a it looks like everlasting wound on me. Losing one of my parents. I was very little. I was in secondary school. Up to now, as I speak, I can't even talk about it. I saw my mom like this, saying goodbye. Koro Koro, this is not, eh, it will happen in the hospital. No. Koro Koro. So that trauma is still there. When I hear people or see things happening like this, I, 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 I know what it is and I know what that person will face. The wife or the husband will face. We don't want such thing. It is not something to, to bring on social media. We want me to come and explain. Come on, you all of my head day. Plus that dirty man that is granting interview, asking with me father. Eh, did he marry him? He's making his money. The TV man shit where they he's making money. Did he ask eh, ask your question one by one? Somebody will ask my father that kind of question. You will call my father on the phone and ask my papa that kind of question. Or you call my sister on the phone and ask my sister that kind of question. I will drag you to your ECMO. I know we're finished. Come on. After that, we made them explain. I wasn't there. I went to call the people that we... He went off. She was there when everything happened. Unfortunately, she went to call uh, the bouncer to come and, you know, settle the whole thing, to come and pave way, to come and do this. Where is very dark man? Because he was the one that ignited all of these things in the first place and escalated it. He is not married. He doesn't have child. He has never lived with any woman. And you people are listening to somebody like that. No experience whatsoever. He never shared his experience. Ah, when I did live with one woman three years ago, I don't have any money. He lived, he was he once lived in Dubai. Very dark man. He said it with his mouth. From his mouth, I'm saying what he said. We need to take things easy. I don't support people, what they are saying. He could have bring peace or probably tell people what they can do. He can bring ideas. There is nothing wrong if very dark man bring ideas. I think, I think, this is my opinion, I think one, two, three, four. No. They said, hey, Yabojo, they said, what did they worry all of now? Is that the bone of contention? 
Everybody just lost the focus. Ah, Baba Baba is doing that one. Even the father is even the worst. The stepmother was on that she, telling the man what to do. If you marry a woman, listen to me, all men that is going to watch this video. If you marry a woman, and the woman is always pushing you to go and do something that you're not supposed to do, that you yourself know that you're not supposed to do it. My sister, you know, get my brother, you don't have wife. If you marry a woman and that woman don't know peace, the only thing that woman understands is yes, yes, violent, violent. No, run away from the such human being. Because when she's in your house, she's going to finish your family, even her own family too. That woman is supposed to bring peace. This is the time mobile step mob supposed to be bringing peace and calming the man to say, you know what? I know your pain. I know you love this boy so much. I know. No. You don't want that. Hey, Jeka, so. Kaba, Jeka, Shegubwe. He's supposed to, after this video, I want to see Mubas father interview, like 50 interviews. That will make it. You see, waiting for that in phone. Not be woman. Woman. If you hear them like this, they don't take picture. Save it. They can even transfer it to 17 people. She was the one that recorded, according to her, she was the one that recorded the conversation between she and Mubad when she was in the hospital. Somebody that can record that one. Do you think he will not record when Mubad's father and everything is happening in the house? Even when they are knocking, maybe she even has the voice prints. Let's be calm. We don't want such thing. Let's see how we can do this thing to, you know, to just go away fast. Don't blame anyone. If things like this happen, solution is what you should be looking at for. As many of you cannot accept it. Many of you that is watching me today and that has been watching this page, we never accept Potter. I will not accept it. So there is no need for me to say, ah, I'm a good girl oh, so that somebody will love me. No, when it comes to my children, nobody can come and tell me, eh, bring the placenta. No, no. That is how they said, they saw one cloth. When I lost my mom, doing my mom's barrier, the Christian mother took the clothes and dumped it, her own clothes, and dumped it in there. I saw it with my eyes like this. What in the idea? Ah, he put one white cloth. He put this one. Umiya, Umiya, 24 years old girl. Take it easy. She's not even okay. Look at her. I said from now till six months, she will start feeling it forever. Even though she found another husband, is in her brain. Pictures are everywhere. When things happen, you don't even know. And when you don't, they, you know, you will understand that. Ah, where is this person? He's no more here. He still, she's still seeing everyone around her. Baba Mobad is still seeing people around her. Very soon, everybody will go their separate ways. Both his children. Everybody will go their ways. They will start doing their things. Life goes on. The 30,000 that they used to give him, no more. Uh -uh, you will look, look, nowhere. Abu Seku. He will start crying. Where is my son? It looks like everything is waving now. Wumi is with his family. The mother will definitely go back to where she's coming from. The mother in law will go back. She will be alone with the child because the, I mean, everything is over. The people that, is working, that was working for Mobad, everybody will move on to go and look for another artist, you know, to start business with. Because she is not a musician, she is not an artist. Then it will be just her and her child alone. What will then happen then? That is when she will understand the injury that she has caused for herself. Let's be careful. I don't want to read what social media is saying. I'm just saying a little bit of what she has said about Prime Boy and the rest of the people. She's also being careful. If you say things that you don't know, of course they will hit you with lawsuits. You have to say things that you know that is all over the places and that you have evidence for. But no, people want her to come and talk about Samlari. People want her to come and talk about Maramali. People want her to come and do this. No, that is not the issue here. She will explain what she knows doing when she was living there. Not what she, what she don't know or what she doesn't she don't have evidence of. Or what her husband didn't tell her. She can't say such things. People want her to come and say it. Calm down. I am asking again, how come the bloggers are not, you know, saying about 
you know, talking about Wumi, all her um, information that she gave you people, because you people want information that you can work. Tomorrow, before this evening, you will hear another one. Hey, cut and join bloggers. Hey, they could not go here. Another one don't happen. For inside, come on. If people are looking for money, don't you clout with people predicaments. Don't. You never hear one girl don't born for Mubad. What is all this? There are things that you don't joke with. There are things that you don't even talk about. I blame Mobile's father for everything that is happening on social media. Because he brought it on social media in the first place. He could have stayed calm. And he said he's a prophet. I don't want to judge him because he's carrying a girlfriend. But taking the girlfriend to Umi's house, I'm not going to take him. I'm saying it now. Live on social media or whatever, TV or Facebook. I will not allow you to bring your girlfriend in my matrimonial home. Says who? You have belittled yourself as a father-in-law for doing that. To even allow me to see such thing. You sold yourself. And your wife heard very clearly. They, they couldn't believe it. You have given her that wings to fly. Now she can face you. Which I don't want that to happen. If he's an Igbo girl. Or maybe from Edo State. Aha. Okay. She will explain even more. It's because, you know, Yoruba, they are kind of calm. I was born there. So I can tell you. That is why she only gave, she just, she, she released little information. Let's be careful with the way we do things, we say things. We want people to believe us. Like I said, we don't know what she have on her phone. If they go fight person, I carry cut us. With the person who take a lady, who go win? going for that kind of battle you are going for a battle you are just holding only and eh, the person can't carry who go come win now so that is how that is the case mobile's papa hold cutlass the other one can't hold uh, ak he hold in half way go take blue only one now he release he just give a one mobile small for here he enter motor you know grant interview before he go grant interview for that corner Corner arrest or whatever, corona inquest. He will, you know, fit the want to zoom off. Let's take it to see if he pulls someone, someone will, you know, we react. Nobody's talking about me. Everybody is not calm because they don't know what she That is why it's not good for Mubas father to even say things like everything that he's, he said on social media. Because she watched all those things and said, look at this man. I've been covering you. Okay, no problem. I even support you sometimes when your, when your son is not around. All right, let's, let the game begin. We don't want that. Please. So people are saying, let's wait on the 15th. Nothing will happen on the 15th. Nothing will happen. Maybe 19. Nothing will happen on the 15th. It's the same gossip that you people want to hear. It's what you, reputation. Only maybe she wants to give you people another, release another one with evidence. That is when you people will understand. What did they worry now? 24 years old, you people want her. She will say everything. She, her mind is like 18 years old. Her brain is like 18 years old girl. It's not like somebody like me. Maybe I will just, you know, I don't want to talk too much. I just want peace and I want to say what I know. You know, we will do small posh. We don't, we don't bring anything. But this one, her brain, once you ginger somebody like this, she will start speaking. She will not stop. Even they will have to start giving her sign to ah, stop, stop. There is always three sides of the story. The way Papa Mubarak came out with that first attack, I knew that something is wrong immediately. First of all, he was saying, "Look at where I live. There is nothing wrong, Papa Mubarak. Your house is very beautiful. If you see where I live before, with my dad, you will not believe it." I cannot do much. I will do what I can do for my daddy and leave the rest. I have children. They go to very expensive school. I have to pay. So I will I leave my children to say, or uh, will I leave my child to say I want to go and give my daddy everything? I will do what I can do for my daddy and leave the rest for another time if I can. 
my children come first for me. My daddy should have sold his properties, his land, to take care of me as well. So that in return, I will pay back and buy those things for him. But he didn't do any of those things. Because he cannot. So I will do what I can do for him and take good care of him the little way I can. Some of you have never bought your father t-shirt before since we left home to abroad. You don't even call your dad. You don't check up on him. You don't know what he, where, what is going on with him. And you come on social media. You want to come and start judging Umi. Umi is not Muba's father's um, child. They married her. And you want to even plan the, for, to, for the father. I, when, I was, you know, when I was doing my wedding, okay, I planned my wedding by myself. Now woman, they plan wedding. What's in the Papa Mobad? Oh, wait, one bring DJ come. I don't understand. You people, you don't, you don't pick points when this man is talking. Some of you had your wedding. Your wife, you know, was in charge of the, was in charge, she was in charge of everything. Your wife was in charge of everything, literally. Your job is to give her money for her to go and cut up, you know, to get everything ready and set. You brought DJ to do what? To come and sing? Or to come and do what? When the girl can do all of those things? In this 2023, are we 2022? Or even 2020? You want to bring DJ for Umi? As a newborn baby? There are things you don't get. Your job is to put on your cap and come sit down that day, you know, they perform the rites of the, of the bride and the groom. Class, everybody go, goes their separate ways. Why? You people are just jumping the interview. If I analyze that interview very well, if not for Facebook, I will break the interview into pieces. All of you will be shocked because you guys are just channeling your energy. But I don't want to do that. Putting your energy. Umiyo, umiyo. Some of you don't even know her. You don't know if she's good, if she's bad, if she's naughty, if she's this, if she's that. Some of you are in your husband's house. Five children are not for your husband. And you come out and judge Umi. Some of you are doing that. Five children, some, four children, are not even for, me, for your husband. You come out and judge people. And that is why when things happen, don't judge people. Ask them, the five people, the five children, I will not even judge. I want to hear your own side of story. Why did you do this? Do you think it's good? You speak to the person nicely, so that the person will, you know, feel it and have that spirit of repentance in him or her. But no, you people want to judge the girl. You people want to do this. Ha ah, ha, the DNA. Some are in their husband's house. They sleep with their husband's best friend. They're on social media. Some will call their husband a security man so that their friends will not make just of. Some will say, ah, it's not my husband because their husband is old. My husband is old. My own husband. They will say, I'm ashamed. I don't want to work with him. I don't want to do this. Some people on social media are doing that. Some women on social media are doing that. Some cannot even be proud of their husband. Even though the, the husband is not handsome. They can't. They got married to him because of his property, because of his wealth, because of his money. They cannot be proud of their husband because their husband is too old. And they are judging Wumi. I'm not saying that if you, I'm not saying as a married woman, if you do that, you, it's good. No, it is not good. If Wumi is guilty, I will come up here and talk about it as well. And say, Wumi, you, this area, but I will not judge her. But all of you are just speaking on her. You are judging her. You're picking on her. You are judging her immediately. You don't even live with them. You don't know what she has been going through in that marriage. It's because nobody is no more. So we cannot talk about we can only talk about the living. You don't know what happened. Nobody's asking question. If she's mentally stable as well in that marriage in the first place. Everybody's just jumping. Like a frog. Jumping like a frog. Papa, 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 some of them. For where? Some women have five children for different father. They are judging with me on social media. Some have two children for different father. I'm not saying this. It depends your story. Your judge, if you have that kind of story, you just watch and say, So, what can happen? Why can't they not settle it? You know, why can't they? If you try to talk about it, you will see people will start dragging your social media. Some, their story is very terrible that they cannot even present their face on social media. Everybody has passed. Everybody has passed. 
But are you ready to change? Or are you a changed person? Or you're still living in your past? That is the question I'm asking. Why do you have to judge us, little girl? Tomorrow she can grow up and become a born-again Christian. She can decide to be a born-again Muslim. Nothing is bad. She left her past to pursue her future. That is what matters. The important thing for, is for her to ask for forgiveness, whether she's right or wrong. If you listen to Moba's music, he said it. People will talk about me. They will discuss my rights and my wrong. He knows that already. He didn't say people will discuss about my rights. No, he said they will discuss about his right and his wrong. If Mobad's father was good enough, he will be in the life. But he was trying to be in the life too much and don't want to give that little girl space. He saw it. He knows it. He understands it. I wish he's here to explain his own side of the story. I'm not saying Wumi is perfect. I am not perfect. I'm going to use myself as an example here. I am not a perfect woman. I have done things in the past. Who told you? But have I repented from it? The answer is yes. Do I want to, have I started a new life? The answer is yes. Do I have a new beginning? The answer is yes. If not, I won't sit down here with my husband. No, I would have left to move on again to somebody else. So let's be careful with the way we judge people on social media. With the way we open, I'm not judging Mobile's father, but what he said about the little girl was too much to say on social media. To bring the issue on social media, once they come to greet you, ask them to sit down. Anyone want to interview you, tell them, I am not ready to be interviewed. What happened is not something anybody can interview me. I am still grieving. I, I don't get myself. Please just pray for me and support me. They pray for pastors now. People pray for pastors too. As much as they are pastors, they are human beings. Please pray for me. Help me to get justice. Pray for me. That is what the boss father is supposed to be saying. Keep the remaining things that is bothering you, paining you. For another day. I want to see my, my son, uh, my grandson. I want to pray for him. I want people to pray for my grandson. Pray for my daughter-in-law. No. What do you want to do? What have you gained? Have you seen solution from what you've done? They all made money out of it. They collected their money. Was it last month? Ending of September from Facebook. Facebook paid their money now. Too much money, says some of them. They are going to start again this month. At the end of this month, Facebook will pay. And give them money. You don't need that. Whether you are, you are poor, you are rich, that is not what we are talking about. We are talking about something serious that hits you so much. In the wrong area. That is where you should be focused. So thank you for coming. God bless you. God bless you. That is what you should be saying. God bless you. Sometimes you just pretend. When I lost my mom. I was little. But I have brain. In full for a year. I am the only one that can talk about my mother's story. Even the neighbors. You know because we used to live in all this face me and face you. The neighbors cannot talk about it. Because they were not inside our house. We did not allow anyone to enter. Until the Reverend Father came in. To bless my mom. So you want to come and talk about my mother? I mean, you want to come and talk about me? On this social media, you will see your story. The one that you don't even know. You will be surprised. Uh -uh, when did I do this? <laughs> you will laugh over it sometimes. I just laugh. Please be careful. That is what I expect my father to do. To bless everyone that came around him. Or come to visit him. And then pass message to say, please pray for my grandson. God bless you all. Pray for my... No, the wife was there. Hey, telling him to do this. That woman tomorrow, when she is tired, she will leave. A woman they talk. Nobody say, and a woman be this one. I don't blame some men that have decided to just stay on their own, have children, and just continue to live their normal life. Some women that are very rich refuse to marry because at the end of the day they look at it or they've seen it or to say, what is she coming to do? What is he coming to do in my life? He doesn't have anything. So if he comes, he's coming to take what I have. But most especially some men. If some men open their mouth and tell you what they are going through in their, in their matrimonial home or their whatever home, in their marriage, you will be surprised. 
and some of them are on social media. They will switch on their live video. Some of them fight their husband. They will carry something like this, break their husband's head. You talk one thing. And their presenter on social media. You don't know how to walk away. Some are graduates. Some have PhD. Some have master's degree. Oh, why their husband Koboko? For head. For US, UK, abroad, Europe. Some, you will bring them from Nigeria, from nothing to something. They will chase their husband out of the house and go and claim something else from the government because they know that government will support them. But not all, if your God is living. They are on social media. They are supporting Papa Mubad. They know what they did to their own husband. They know what they did to their own boyfriend that brought you all the way from from a slum to come and you know cash out in Europe. Once you have one children, sorry, once you have one child, you have the second. Once you have children for him, you start planning. That thing just that thing will grow in them. That thing will grow in them to tell to walk their husband to put their husband in trouble so that the husband will go to jail. A lot of people in jail today are innocent people in Europe. Some of them, not all. Some you know they are into you know, having issues with their wife. There are people, there are the same people judging Mubad, um, Mubad's wife. And some are even judging Mubad's father. If you know you have problems similar, all you need to do is to put peace. If you're not married, you've not been married. My marriage is 11 years. 11 good years. If you're not married, you cannot stay with a man for one year, two years, three years. Don't come and get involved in something like this or ask me any question. If I'm woman, I still will not speak. But she is a little girl. And you people have forced her. Now she has spoken. She will start granting interview. She will say more when nobody is living with her. When she is lonely, she will just press one person and say, please, I want to come live. There is something I just remembered again. I want to say. We don't want that. We pray for peace. And anyone that is involved will be judged according to the law. And if they cannot find anyone, Let's leave it for God to judge. And that is why when you see people having problems like this, be careful how you run to help them. Because you don't know what they've done in the past to face that kind of problem. Guilty conscience, fear no accusation. Right? That's what he said. And that is what Umi was doing yesterday. She walked in and that was it. It's not like anybody's looking for her. She stood her ground and she was speaking. A lot of people were there. But they picked... The question that is very in invalid to come and spread on social media. Ah, if you see Wumi yesterday, ah, she is looking like this. Uh, do, 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 do. They asked her this, she couldn't answer. Any question that she cannot answer, she leave it for her lawyer. That is how they do it. If you know that that question will put you in trouble, you shut your mouth. And leave it for your lawyer to back you up. She has to be careful, otherwise she will be thrown in the jail. Who is going to train her child for her? A six-month-old child. The reason why I got involved in this case is because they said they brought them into Dubai this year or so. And we have been on visa band in this country going to two years. How did they fly in? They whine. That was the reason why I got, I picked interest and said, no, not in this country. And the little girl, the little child doesn't even have passports. As of the time, all of this claim was going on. We need to check Umi's passport. Let's see the year she came to Dubai last. I want to see it. If I'm Umi, I will release everything. Since the people want to see everything, I will show you my passport. At least I cannot take any number out of the passport. His original passport, I will be showing people to see. They brought out that news. That one didn't sell. They came up again. She has run away from uh, Nigeria. She took the child away. She did this one. That one didn't sell. They came again. Ah, she's sleeping with this one. That's Miss Mig Miss. I don't know his name. That other one came. Yes, I know what I'm saying. He was interviewed by um, very dark. Even very dark man interviewing that guy he was shocked. Was looking at him at the time. If you watch the video, go and watch the video on very dark man's page. This thing that you are saying, I hope you have evidence. Very dark man asked him again. I hope you have evidence. That one, Umi will come out and talk about him. Now everybody will be here. Eh? Really? with evidence.
And people, you will see a lot of people come out. Why is she keeping all of these things? Because she wants to use it tomorrow. No. She will use it 75 years coming. Like the way people are portraying on social media, she will not have evidence. So that people will come and say, eh, she should bring evidence. If you don't have evidence, it's nothing. We cannot even be used to say it. If you don't have evidence, yeah, yeah, we nobody want to listen to you. But that is what it is. You go explain, there no evidence. What you don't know, don't say it. Say what you understand. That boy was interviewed and he was saying things about the woman, blah, 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 blah. They said, a lot of things that he said is they said, I confirmed it. They said, what is the name of the people? Uh, very dark man. So don't mention their name. Let us, uh, we don't want to put them in trouble. And you are saying that you're a very dark man. You, you, you are saying the truth. Let's say the name of everyone that is involved. Let's hear them. Because you know that those people will come out and speak as well. What they know about you. Everybody has past. Like I said. Everybody has past. Let's be careful with the way we talk about people. Because if you talk about them, they will bring your own out as well. They will bring your issue. They will bring your, you know... Your own story. He went there, he was relaxed. I have evidence here. I can even show it. Very dark man said, wait, wait, wait. I'm sure very dark man went back to see the kind of evidence that boy has. He has no evidence. That was why very dark man cool off and stay away from that uh, a video. We want very dark man to come up. I will go and watch him. I don't know if he has done any video. Then I will comment and tell him, you don't, you've not done analysis. This is not your opinion. You need to talk about it. Very well. What will me say? Is it good for a married woman, you know, for father-in-law to bring a, a girlfriend, not a wife, a girlfriend to Moba's house, a 27 years old boy? Is it a good thing as well? Please, we want you to analyze that part as well. Can you have a child and your father will request for the placenta? Will you do that? You cannot do that. In this country, you can't be in a woman. You can't come inside the room where your, where your, I mean, the labor room where your wife is having um, children. You can't. That is the full information I'm giving you now for free. You cannot sit down there. You will never be there until that child is born, clean. They will take the sample and everything. You know, they will scan everything. Check from there. Run the test and make sure that you people are, you own the child. So what are, we, what are you people? To, well, to, let's talk about Wumi. Let the story begin. If you're not following me, follow me on Solution Center with Tina. That is where I will read out everything line by line. So that you people can hear and see what she said when they asked her question. And how she answered it very br brilliantly. And I believe she has more to say. They will give her the opportunity to say everything. Which I believe she will not say everything. She will still reserve some. Again. For any claim. Baba Mubad needs to come out and interview and grant interview seven times, fifty times, and tell them how they didn't give him thirty thousand, how they didn't come on. Let's stop this and face what we need to face. So people even came up to say he is graving. That is the only way he knows how to grave. Not only be the person where you don't lose picking. Or don't lose person before. When you are grieving, you don't talk. You just start asking questions. God, I worship you every day. I'm a man of God. You know, you'll be asking yourself, how did this happen? How come? So I'll be the one to do this for my child. Oh, God. You are so, my child is supposed to do this to me. He's not saying all of those things. Let me say this thing. Who never faced him before? Please, people, let's be very, 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 very careful with the way we pick things on social media, with the way we contribute, with the way we say things. I'm waiting for a very dark man, and I'm going to tag him on this video when I'm done. If you never married before, you never taste marriage, even for three months, or even for one day, who we'll talk? Because the moment you marry, your character don't change. It's not the same character anymore. That's why you people are doing relationship. You people are pretending. Hello, where are you? I'm at home. You just run and go. You know how we used to do it during that day? We'll go home and change. We don't want our boyfriend to know that we went out or something like this. That's one day for marriage. You. When you enter, you don't lock. How come? It'll be like when you enter heaven. The lock and You know if you come out again. Now, so marriage just be. So if you're not following me, follow me right now on Solution Center with Tina, where I talk about relationship, marriage, you know, things that happens, you know, and my experience conceiving. Follow me there quickly, and then you will see, you will hear. Not, um, shere shere. you see, I was talking, I was even using myself as an example. I'm not saying I'm the best wife. I'm the clinical. 
but I will never do adultery in my matrimonial home. Never. I'd rather step out and say, you know what, let's go our separate ways. And if marriage is not working, you can go your separate ways. I am not against single mothers that have good reason of stepping out of marriage. I am not against single um, um, single father that are, you know, that step out of the marriage because one or two things. I am not against them. If it's not working, it is not working. If it is toxic, everybody goes their separate ways in peace. Because you may come back again to be friends. But make sure you don't do things that will affect the children that you have in that marriage. Make sure. That is what we are saying. That is what I talk about. Thank you all for watching me. I have to go now because I have to attend to my children. It's very important. <laughs> Thank you all. Wumi, may God continue to bless you. May God continue to support you. May God so that is the only thing you have. God. Even your mother can come back tomorrow and say no more. The only person that you are seeing right now, Wumi, is you and God. May God continue to strengthen you, give you that power to continue to, you know, overcome. Because it is not easy. Wumi's father, may God continue to comfort him. Because it is not even easy to lose anybody. May God continue to be with him protect him, give him more wisdom, and show him the right way, you know, open his eyes, may the blessing of God continue to be with him, may the wisdom of God fall upon his head from now, until everything is settled, and I know that everything will settle, everything will get settled, inshallah, and then they will come back again and be peaceful, you know, after the whole thing, by God's grace, I just pray we should, you know, have that spirit of forgiveness, and see him like a human being, we all make mistakes, and then when we come back to our senses, we do it right. That is all I can say. Any further information I see on social media, I will come on this page and address it, so that people will learn not to say, when to say. Somebody has accused me of something that I didn't, I don't know about. I live here, and the person lives in Nigeria. I was shocked that my name was mentioned. I was very shocked that my name was mentioned. Have I forgiven these people? To be frank with you, sometimes when I remember those things, I just feel very disappointed. So it happens, and it only takes the grace of God to show us the right way. We are learning, we are human beings, and we will still make mistakes, but the ability to correct it is what, is, is what matters. When people correct you, you listen. I listen to advice. I pick what I want to take and throw the rest in the bin. If I feel like it's not, it's not necessary. So we are not perfect. I am not perfect. But we just pray for God's wisdom. This is not analysis. This is just to share wisdom with people that are watching me. This is just to, to, to give you a little bit of what you didn't even pay attention on. I will be on Solution Center today, this evening. And I will talk about... Moba's father, and I will talk about Wumi as well. And by God's grace, if you share this video, people will watch, people will see it. If you share this video, people will understand from in another point of view. Thank you. That's all I can say. Thank you, and you know, have a blessed day. Bye for now. Bye.